germs, it is Joker here, and welcome back to my tutorial world! So, today, I actually have a really simple design for you. Um, it's something that if you watched the Brocroc series, you would have saw me build a smaller version of it, but this is the double piston design. So, I'll show it you, and then we'll get on with the tutorial, and I will also show you the smaller, ver I will also show you how to build the smaller version as well. Okay, and here it is. It doesn't look like anything really uh, amazing until you hit that lever. You get a cauldron and with water. And when I mean water, I do actually mean this is an infinite supply. By the way, we are in the 1.17 version of the game. So look, I got a water bucket out of that and you can see the cauldron is empty. Let's flick the lever. It goes back. We flick the lever again. We got another thing of water. Isn't that good? It's amazing! Just infinite water! It's great! Anyway, uh, so I will get some stuff ready and we will get on with this tutorial. But before, before we do, can you please hit that like button? Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying this because I have tutorials like this all over the shop. Okay, and all you are actually going to need for this build is five redstone dust, three sticky pistons, three redstone repeaters, and three redstone torches. Uh, you will also need whatever block you're going to be swapping out for, but we'll get to that bit as we get there. So, first thing you want to do is decide on where you want to put it. Now, this type of setup here is perfect. You can also do it in the very corners. Uh, just be aware that you do need to place your lever here unless you are really good and know how to redirect that so you want to place a torch here on the back you then want to come down and place two blocks and remove that one you then want to come out one and up one like so and you can actually remove that block as well you want to come across and then you want to bring a block down like so you want to come across again but this one needs to go is it this one? I think it's this one that goes up. No, it's the next one, sorry. Uh, so, two blocks like so. You can place one there and remove that one. Right. So here, you want to place down a redstone repeater on three ticks with redstone dust here. Redstone repeater here on three ticks with redstone dust there and there. And then another redstone repeater on three ticks. Lovely jubbly. Right. So we are going to quickly just remove these blocks so we can go ahead and place in our pistons. So above that repeater at the back, crouch and place and crouch and place. And as you can see, it has then gone and done it. We also now need a lever to turn the system off so that we can put in the final piston. So. Lovely jablet. Right, so here you need a redstone dust just there with a torch on its face and then go ahead and place in a sticky piston just there and then you can then just fill that back in. If you want to do the infinite water uh, design that I just did, you will need a cauldron, a bucket of water and a stair. Why a stair, you say? Oh, and some glass to make sure that you cover the thing completely so you don't have any accidents. Because water, redstone, does not go well. We'll just use anything we've got here. Okay, so place down your cauldron. See where it is. Then go ahead and place in your stair. And then use any block, really, to just cover that so that no matter what happens, water isn't going to go every anywhere. And then just flood that stair block and of course every time you flick the lever you get water and it's hidden and it's back so i will now show you the smaller design of this okay so this one is super simple especially if you just want a quick design go ahead and place in a sticky piston just there come around the back you can go ahead and place the torch pretty much anywhere. Um, if you do pick either of these two spots up here, you'll notice it doesn't get powered. So what we have to do there is place down a block, 
with a redstone dust just like so and then go ahead and grab your stair go and place it there place a block behind it then come around the front and now you can waterlog that place that there and then just get yourself a button because that's actually all it needs which i was very surprised about to be honest to figure out that all it needed was a button uh, every time you press that button, you will get fresh water. Every time. Uh, let me find a bucket and I will show you every single time. Whoop. Whoop. Now you might be saying, why not just take it from the stair? Because it won't replenish. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was a really easy, quick one for today. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, then please hit that like button. If you've really enjoyed it, then don't forget to subscribe. <gasps> and don't forget to hit the notification bell. So you know when I upload. Anyway, uh, also, uh, quick note before I go. Uh, June 19th is Broke Rock st st Stream Day. So please join us over on our Twitch channels. Uh, links will be in the Broke Rock Discord. If not, then you can go to any of my Broke Rock episodes. All the links are there. Okay, anyway, uh, enough sidetracking. 